Thus says the Lord God to these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter you, and you shall live. Ezekiel 37, 5. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm gone. I thank you, Lord God, for your word, for your grace, for your mercy, for your hope. For my brothers and sisters, I ask Holy Spirit that this word would bring life. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Release life over you. Glory. <laughs> Glory to his name. Praise the Lord. Thus says the Lord. I have said it. Will I not accomplish it, said the Lord. The Lord speaks. When he speaks, it comes to pass. He never lets a word go out of his mouth without it coming back and giving him a good report. The law of return. Glory to God. Jesus said, Father, in your hands I commit my spirit. It is finished. <laughs> yes. Yes. I will cause breath to enter you. This is a word about revival. And, and part of the been talking about it for a couple of days the iceberg the tip of the iceberg we only see a little bit in in into the spirit realm if we saw too much it would be like the time i was in safeway and i was in somewhere else for just a split second it was almost too much for for me to handle we can only handle a little bit of the spirit because it's just too much for our puny minds to wrap around. But I want to let you know right now, God wants to breathe life into you. He wants to bring revival to you. And part of revival is getting a new mindset, is having a mindset renewed. Glory. Glory. He wants to put his word in us. And, and that's not being religious. That's coming into agreement with his word, my brothers and sisters. We shall live. He wants to bring life into us. He wants to revive us. And I give you a definition of revival. I'm sure I've given this before. An instance of something becoming popular, active, or important again. Important again. Has your, has your walk been a struggle lately? If it has, let it become important again. Let your relationship with the Father become important again. Let your relationship with the Son become important again. Let your relationship with the Spirit become important again. Allow the Spirit of God to be blown into you. That His breath would enter you. That His Spirit would enter you. And you shall live. You shall live with an excitement. With a holy excitement. Glory. Even with everything that's going on in my life, I've got a, I got a shaking in there. It's like something's vibrating within me. Glory. It wants to get out. <laughs> that's the word God placing in me, showing me a, a greater picture. The word revival was never really shelved. It's always been there. And God wants to revive us. Glory. Anyhow, I just want to say thanks for coming and sitting with me this morning. Get excited in the Lord. Get excited in the Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for your word and your grace upon this word. In Jesus' name, amen. Glory. Glory. I'm not trying to rush off now. <laughs> I did bring a guitar out this time. Me and Art and Luther. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, oh He's alive.
and sisters <laughs> God bless you we'll see you bye